We're Laura and Nicholas. We're full-time travelers and creators, and we just spent a month on the beautiful Greek islands. We decided to end the European summer with a trip to Italy. We spent the last four days in romantic Venice, which we unfortunately did not vlog, but we had the most amazing time. And now we just arrived in a place we've been wanting to visit forever. What's up, you guys? <laughs> we made it to the Dolomites. So we just got back from Venice and now we're going to explore the Dolomites for the next few days. But we actually already took a little supper in the Dolomites right before Venice. We visited Lago di Braios, which was the most <laughs> amazing lake we have ever, Honestly, ever seen. It was beautiful. Mind blowing. So we're going to show you that right now. Oh, I know what you need to me. Hey guys, so we're now at Lago de Braes and it's so beautiful guys. We have been dying to see this lake for so long and we're finally here. Okay, but first we're going to take a couple of photos and then we'll show you around. my boots <laughs> so we scratched my boots mate scratched your boot it's like we're in the usa in texas felt more like canada wow yeah it Stunning. honestly felt like canada so we just visited lago de Braes, as you could see it is so beautiful no insanely beautiful it was amazing okay so now we're going to venice actually but we're coming back to dolomites in four days so we will see you then bye <laughs> We finally made it! We're back in the Dolomites! <laughs> so happy to be back! It is so windy, it is so cold, it is so different from Venice. <laughs> we had an amazing time in Venice, we absolutely loved it. It was so beautiful, my first time. I want to go back already, but now we are... We are in the mountains! <laughs> it is a bit cloudy and it is a bit windy, yeah. but... I have to keep holding my hat like this, I feel like <laughs> such a retard. Otherwise it's going to fly away. Okay, so this is our first... I just don't want Laura to be mad at me because it's, it's her It's my hat. hat. Yeah. <laughs> So this is our first stop of the day. It is called Pass Chiawi or something like that. <laughs> I'm so bad at pronunciations in the in you Italian. You would think that after a month in Italy, we would know how to pronounce stuff. But no, we, we don't. Do not. Okay, but anyway, this is our first stop of the day. We have a few more to go before we check into our hotel this evening. So we will take you on our little road trip to the Dolomites. And now the first thing we do, you know, is guys, we Picture to, time! Yeah, we are going to take a photo. Our camera is already set up. Nicholas is already ready to pose. Let's do this! <laughs> oh, and I'm just going to show you the other side as well. It's so beautiful! We can try to go places that no one's gone But the older we grow, all the less we know We can leave it a stay Run and hide, we can lose ourselves in the long lost nights, but we can't let go. I'm just so happy to be here. But it's cold, I want to go back to the car. Let's go back to our fancy little car. We are so Not happy bad. to be back in the car. It is so beautiful, but it is so cold outside. And honestly, we have the same view from in the car as we have from <laughs> up there. So. We sound like the most lazy people out there, but we're just cold and we don't like the cold. We're made for the heat. So now we're going to drive to the next spot and that is some kind of lake. 
Mercury will show you. We just hope that the weather gets better because otherwise it will be chilly all day and then, I don't know, we can't enjoy as much. Okay, so we just arrived at our second spot and we were planning on hiking to a lake that is behind the clouds. But we decided not to do it because the weather is shifting a little bit and it is getting like we, we had some raindrops already. Yeah. So these mountains right there, right here, that's where we wanted to go, but we're yeah. not gonna do it. We're gonna go to another spot instead, yeah. uh, which is a lake, beautiful lake, yeah. a bit like Lago di Braias, which you saw some footage yeah. of already. So we're gonna go back in the car right now and drive to the next spot. See you guys there. Okay, so we're at our last destination of the day. Well, no, then we still need to go to the hotel, <laughs> but we're at another lake. We made it to Lago di Carezza. It is absolutely stunning, as all the other lakes here. The only problem is it is fenced all the way around. Like, oh. I put this whole outfit on to take a picture, <laughs> and we're not even able to take a picture. No, honestly, we're not able yeah. because there is a lot of people. And we don't like people. <laughs> no, that's not... We do love people, but we don't like it when we want to take photos. So yeah, so there's like a fence completely around it. And there's like all these signs saying that we cannot climb over it. But the thing is, if it were early morning, like sunrise or something, and there would be no one here, we would totally climb over the fence, take photos. But we won't be doing that because it's just full of people and I mean, you know that you're going to get We don't caught. want to get in trouble. We don't want to get in trouble. We're nice people. <laughs> we like to play by the rules. We'll just show you the lake, but unfortunately we won't take any photos. So that was the end of our Lago di Carezzo trip. Oh my god, It was so fail. disappointing. It is so beautiful, but it's such a fail. We cannot take our photo. But very happy to go to the hotel now. It's actually an apartment. It looks amazing in pictures. Yeah. They have like a whole spa, so we <sighs> might test that out. Yes. On top of that, we'll have our own kitchen, so we'll finally be able to make our own food. We love that. Which we have been craving for. Yeah. Because oh. those pizzas, it's been too much. See you guys at the apartment. All right, so we just made it. What are you doing? Laura is peeing and she's re she's making some really weird noises. So we just made it to our apartment for the next two nights and it is absolutely mind-blowing. Okay, so now we're going to unpack a little bit. We just did grocery shopping so that we can cook in our own kitchen. I'm very excited Probably about that. Probably the thing we're most excited about yeah. is the fact that we're finally going to cook our own meals. I know that sounds so weird, but when you're traveling so much like we do, um, you eat out a lot in restaurants, which is cool once in a while, but it's not cool when this is your daily meal. You just want your own food. So we're going to prepare pasta <laughs> again. When in Italy, you eat pasta. Yeah, we're going to eat pasta with truffle, of course, if you know us, we do love everything with truffle. So yeah, we're going to cook some dinner. Every single scar is a masterpiece, you only see the dark, but I see the seeds. The singing, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Baby, it's time for dinner. Yes, Yay. finally. Finally, we're having some pasta filled with truffle. Yeah, me and a good wine. You can't see the view, but you can see all the lights. Bon appétit! Merci, my love. That was so good. Laura is not feeling well. <laughs> I'm honestly feeling sick because I ate too much because it was so good. <laughs> Laura has no limits. Like, when she thinks something <laughs> is good, she will stuff herself until she passes out <laughs> or feels really bad. So, honestly, I ate way too much. And now we have to. No, we don't have to go in the jacuzzi. But we're I want to take. I want to go in the jacuzzi. No, we want so to go. No, we jacuzzi. want to go into jacuzzi. But the thing is, after I ate too much, and then jacuzzi, not a good combination. Yes, it is. Come on, babe. Let's go. Okay, guys. It is time for a little late night jacuzzi. We're gonna sign off. See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye.
Good morning, guys. It's a new day in the Dolomites. Oh, morning faces. I think the first thing we need is coffee. Plenty of things that mean nothing to me. But if there's one thing I know to be, oh, I know what you mean to me. I know what you mean to me. You've got a story. I'm eating chocolate already. Chocolate tastes the best mm. on an empty stomach. It's so, early in the morning. It's so true. Okay, so what are the plans for today, babe? What are we gonna do? It's so cloudy. Yeah, it's a bit cloudy. But I think it will clear up because I see some. A bit of blue sky right there. Let's go check the infinity pool first. And while no. we're there, no. think about what we can do. I want to go to the spa first. Let's go to the spa first. So when the flowers growing wild and green, dig your nails and put the dirt, then you find the sea. Alright, so we're giving the rooftop pool a try. You know what, babe? We forgot towels. Oh, you are so good. So this is the pool, you guys. Not too shabby. Mm. I wouldn't call it hot, but it's okay. You've got a story I want to read. You've got a meaning that matters to me. I know there's many more to be seen. We just made it to our first spot of the day. It is, oh, Cheeky Cheeky. It's a spot we have been waiting to visit for a long time. I think if you Google Dolomites, this is what you see. It's a church in the middle of a field. I know there's many more to be seen. We just trespassed again. Something we happen to do a lot. Not on purpose, but we just do. Not on purpose. You probably wonder why we have two suitcases with us, but we are shooting these for a brand, so we just take a photo with them and we thought it might be cool to do that here. Okay, so we just took some pictures right here with the cows in the background and the church. And Laura is freaking out because we're trespassing. Oh, I do not like this, guys. Do we have a picture though? I think so. <laughs> I put the coat back on and now we're going to run back. Go, go, go! I do not get why this is trespassing, but anyway, I just want to go. All right, what we're is, back in the car. What is stress, this one? We would not recommend trespassing because it is bad for your heart. I mean, it's just... But it just makes the best pictures. We almost never do it, but when we do, it's always worth it. All right, so that was it. We don't have any proper footage. We don't have any beautiful images from the church. You'll just have to trust us that it is insanely beautiful. Okay, little update. So after our last spot, it started raining and it became so cloudy that we just decided to wait it out a little bit and see um, if we would continue with the journey for today with the plan. But we decided to go for it. So we were on our way to Alpe di Susi or Sizer Alm um, and during the drive <laughs> Nicholas at one point realized that we were not driving towards Alpe di Susi but we were driving towards our hotel and to give you an idea I mean the distances here are literally like one or two hours drive so he realized it like half an hour too late so now we decided to drive to help the Susie anyway but we will be there quite late and we want to be there for sunset to take photos for sunset so I'm not sure if we will make it what do you guys think let us know in the comments if you think that we will make it before the sunset I don't think so what do you think, babe? I'm just gonna be silent and shut up because yeah. I have nothing to say. No, because I'm mad. I screwed up. All right, guys, so we made it to the parking lot of Alpe di Susi. It is now six o'clock, sunset at seven. We still have more than an hour hike to go. Laura is quickly doing a little outfit change. 
I really hope we'll make it. Maybe. Laura will kill me. We started our hike and I just realized that I am not wearing the proper footwear. I'm wearing boots, which is not the most comfortable thing. Laura is looking fabulous. Oh my God. Let's do this, I'm excited. I've been the positive sparkle in this relationship today. 58 minutes left. Come on, let's go. We made it in our spot just in time. This is it. The sun is setting as we speak. I am so happy we made it. We already took one shot and it looks quite nice. So we just finished shooting and if you hear really closely you can hear the sound of Laura peeing. Oh my god! Oh man, this was such a stressy day. I think she just needs to lose the stressy fluids. The pee with the best you ever had. Okay guys, this was a very stressful moment but we made it! And now we have to make sure that we return before it gets completely dark. dark. Okay, so it's getting dark and we only have a phone as a flashlight. And the battery is running out. Yeah, so we need to be a bit quick. We need to hurry and we still have like about 35 minutes to go, so... Ah, uh, my feet are hurting so Nicholas much, is these not boots. not wearing the best. Uh. Footwear. That was such a stupid decision. Okay, yeah. we'll keep you up to date if we make it before dark. With if you never phone. see this video, we didn't make it. <laughs> we made it! Finally! <laughs> we made it to the car. It's 8 o'clock, only 8 o'clock. That's strange. But it is pitch dark. But outside. it's pitch dark outside, so now we're going to drive back to our hotel, well, to our apartment, and cook ourselves some dinner. And drink lots of wine. And drink some wine. <laughs> Okay, I guess we are in the car just in time because it's just started raining. It is pouring down. Oh. Right now. <laughs> we're so lucky. It is time for dinner. We are having pasta again. Laura is happy again. I have been happy all the time. Oh, you weren't during the hike. All right, we even got some candles and everything, eh? Okay guys, it's time to go to bed. We are so tired. That hike was exhausting. We had a nice little meal, but now it is time to say goodnight. Good morning guys. It is the next day and we started the day with coffee of course, but then we had a little swim in the infinity pool and now we are in the spa and we're just gonna take it easy for an hour or so and then the adventure begins again. Okay, so after a drive of about one hour, we made it to Ortice, which is like a small town. So we're going to take a cable car up to Cicada, which is like at 2,500 meters, but it looks super cloudy again up there. So I'm not sure if we'll even see anything. And it's 35 euros per person just to get up there. Yeah. Which is such a waste of money if it's clouded. Can we have two tickets? Do you want one way or return tickets? Is it possible to walk back? Yeah. How long does it take? Three hours? Yes. We will do a return? Yes, okay. <laughs> Can we have a little COVID discount? No. Okay, we're in the cable car. Fingers crossed. Yes. This is not looking good. Yeah. Okay, so we made it to the top, and now the moment of truth. Wow. So happy we did it. Okay, so apparently we got a very lucky break, because yeah. right now there is nothing to see anymore. So I think you just have to wait it out a little bit and just give it some time, because if we would come up here right now, we would have thought, Oh, oh man, God, what a waste of money. There's nothing to see, but 
I think if you just like wait a little bit and have some patience, I think we're in a cloud now. Yeah, it starts <laughs> to look like it. Now that it's very cloudy, we're just going to have a drink inside. Well, we hope that we can have a drink. Yeah. Like a hot chocolate. Ah, oh, hot chocolate. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, one like this for me as well. I'm waiting for the clouds to go away. Yeah, they're not going away, are they? We'll just wait it out, it's fine. We have time. And we have hot chocolate. Okay, it looks like it's clearing up, so we're gonna go back outside. Okay, mission failed. failed. So, as you can see, there's nothing to see. <laughs> So we waited it out for quite a bit to take another photo, but it started raining and I mean our lens got wet So we just decided to Go back and well, was it worth the 70 euros to come up here? Hell yes, yeah. I would do it again immediately. So happy we did it. Yeah, I'm happy we did it as well because the view that we saw when we just came up It was just insanely beautiful but now yeah, so we're going to take a cable car back down, unfortunately. We'll have to come back someday to take better photos. That's it, guys. That's it. But we made it back from our hike. Well, it wasn't really a hike, but from our cable car ride. We went grocery shopping in the meantime, and now we are gonna enjoy our private hot tub. We will have a little aperitivo <laughs> with candles. Some snacks and bars. And bubbles. Yeah. And then, as usual, we will start cooking and watch some van videos, I guess. <laughs> like always. Yo, chef, what's for dinner? We're making gnocchi. Gnocchi with zucca, which is pumpkin. And gnocchi with gorgonzola cheese. Our little chef made some magic. Give this video a thumbs up if you think Laura is a great chef. How can they know? Just do it, please. So we just heard we had to check out tomorrow at 10 a.m. So we're going to sleep. Not so tired. Time to sleepy sleep. Good night. Good morning, guys. Good morning. I was going to say it is another beautiful day. But it's not. It is not. This is our view right now. It is rainy. It is cloudy. You can't see a thing. It is cold. We woke up quite early. Uh, Laura sent me grocery shopping. The store opened at 8, so I'm going there right now. And now I'm going to pack our bags in the meantime. Teamwork then, makes the dream work. <laughs> cheers, bud. And then we're out of here. We had these amazing plans for today. But I'm not sure if we will be able to do it because we can't see anything. We were going to do a four hour hike, but in this weather, I don't, I don't think, think so. It, no, I yeah. don't think so. We'll just... Might as well drive back to Belgium. Okay, so in the meantime, we checked out at our apartment. We still haven't decided what to do and where to go. So on our Instagram, we ask our followers what they think we should do or if there are any stops on the way to Belgium that we could visit um, and a lot recommended to visit some castles in Germany in the Bavaria region so we might do that because even with bad weather um, visiting castles I think is fine in bad weather um, yeah but we'll see so we'll just start driving and then decide on the way maybe within an hour it clears up a little bit I'm still hoping for that Nicholas doesn't think it will clear up positive but Nicholas is gone <laughs> say hello to negative nick okay guys it's been a few hours since we last took our vlog cam in our hands uh, in the meantime we crossed two country borders went to austria we are now in germany so we just parked our car it's about a 30 minute walk to one of the most famous castles um, it closes at 6 p.m and i think it is 20 to 6. yeah so, so we, we won't, won't be... be able to see the inside no. but it looks really beautiful from the outside as well it really looks like a fairy tale but um yes yeah, so we're taking a walk in the woods and then we're going to show you the castle really excited for that
Come on, babe, you can do it. Come a little closer. But it's beautiful. <laughs> It's, it's even more beautiful from the middle of the bridge. No, no, no. It is beautiful though. I'm already like getting sick and nauseous from spending a year. Back to the car. But is it beautiful? It is beautiful. Okay, so we have a 45 minute walk down to the car. In the meantime, Laura is going to try and find a hotel for tonight. Yeah, we don't want to pay a lot of money because it's just like... It's gonna be a shitty hotel anyway. Yeah, I cannot wait to have our van. Yes, please. <laughs> Van life, here we come. If you don't want to miss out on van life, make sure to subscribe to our channel. So you can see how we convert our van, how we build it, and of course our travels with our van. What do we see there? It's a wild Laura being in the woods again. As if nothing happened. With COVID, it's safer to go in the wild than on the toilet. That is so true. All right, guys, we made it to our room. It actually looks quite nice for only 60 euros. It's just okay for 60 euros. We had a little cheeky McDonald's tonight. I had a vegan burger, which is really, really good, actually. We are off to bed now. Tomorrow, we are visiting another castle. Yeah. The first one was so amazing. Yes. And Laura just found idea. out that Walt Disney actually got his inspiration for, what is it? For the real, actual, Disney castle and of course the castle of Sleeping Beauty because that's the same castle. You get it from the castle that we just visited. How cool is that? Alright, good night guys. Bye, see you tomorrow. Good that night, sleep morning. was magic. It was a really good sleep for Nicholas at least. Okay, so now we're walking to the center of Ulm because one there's Starbucks. We didn't have Starbucks for such a long time and it's something yeah. we love so much yeah. that we decided to walk 15 minutes just to grab a little Starbucks. Plus, some people in our community told us that we should totally visit Ulm and just like have a little walk around. So that's what we're going to do with our Starbucks in hand. By the way, I read that Ulm has the largest church in the world. Is that so? Or in Germany, maybe. Uh, I don't so think we're gonna check that out as well. <laughs> so after a little fact checking on the World Wide Web, we are happy to announce we are standing in front of the world's highest church. But when the Sagrada Familia will be completed, the Sagrada Familia will be the biggest church. Let's find Starbucks. Yeah. Starbucks check and now we are ready to do some more exploring of this beautiful little town. It's actually really cute. I think it's a very underrated place. The only thing that's slightly annoying is that today is garbage pickup day. <laughs> so everywhere you go, you see these big garbage cans everywhere. I think this is the perfect example of what I mean with the ugly garbage cans. So we're back in the car now. We're driving to our last stop of this 10 day road trip in Italy and well now Germany is added as well to that list. So we're going to Liechtenstein Castle. Which, which is, is not in Liechtenstein. <laughs> so yes, we're going to visit a castle and then we are going to drive back home because tomorrow we need to bring this beautiful car back. So I guess this will be the end of our vlog as we're going home tonight. So we'll just show you guys the Liechtenstein Castle and then we're driving home. But see you next Sunday. Hope you guys liked this little video. Maybe give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to smash that subscribe button it would be and a hit lot. the bell. It oh, would be my candies just fell. Oh, skin, give your heart to me. Every single scar is a masterpiece. You only see the dark, but I see the sea.